Okay. Do you have to make your decisions before you do them? Do I have to make what? Before you do uh, No, you two. flip factor, then you do your restrictions. Because our denominator is really this. Okay, so what are my restrictions on A? Positive 3, negative 3, and negative 4. And what can cancel? A plus 3. And A minus 3. And that's it. No, we're only restricting the denominator. It's okay if zero is in the numerator. We only restrict the denominator. So in the numerator, I have a plus 2. And in the denominator, I have a plus 4. And remember, those are groups. And unless they're identical, you can't cancel them. Don't try to cancel the a's and reduce that and get one half. It doesn't work out that way. You're dividing fractions. Go back to third grade. Change the multiplication, flip. And then we factor, restrict, and cancel. Now, if I have p plus 1 squared, what does that mean? I have two of them. Now, don't put them together because then you'll have to turn right back around and take them apart. All right? They're already taken apart for you. Just means you have two of them. Now I want you all to notice up here what can be done from the very beginning. And it needs to be done. Okay? Before you even start with this trinomial, you can factor out a six. And it needs to be. Because if you don't, you're not going to reduce your fraction completely. So now factoring that, I have 6 times 2p and p, 1 and 1, minus and plus. In the denominator, I'm going to write p plus 1 twice just because I want to make sure that I visually see what is there. Factored out a 6 first, and then I factored the trinomial. This changes to multiplication, and these two switch places, which means I have now 2 times p plus 5 in the numerator, and in the denominator, I have 3 times 2p minus 1. Yes? Nope, 2p times 1 is 2p, and p times negative 1 is minus 1p, which gives me 1p. All right, we have factored. It's time to restrict. Here? Okay, well, this is now in the numerator, right? And I have a greatest common factor of 2, which if I pull out a 2, it leaves me with p plus 5. Because 2 times p is 2p, and 2 times 5 is 10. This is now in the denominator, and it has a greatest common factor of 3. If I pull out a 3, I'm left with 2. I'm flipping and factoring at the same time. Okay. Now let's restrict our P's in the denominator only. Negative 1 and positive 1 half. You don't have to write negative 1 twice. We have factored, we've restricted. 
Now we're going to cancel. 2p minus 1, p plus 1. <coughs> what about the numbers? Just put them together real quick. What's 6 times 2? Over 4 times 3. What's 12 over 12? Okay, so all these numbers cancel. So all you have left is p plus 5 over p plus 1. And be sure to place your restrictions. What do you mean? Right there. Can I cancel? Yeah. There's one here and one here, so I can cancel this one with this one. It's the same number divided by itself, so that gives me one. But I had an extra one because there were two of them. Okay? But how can you cross that one out? I didn't. I crossed one at the top with one at the bottom. Don't pack up. You need to see this first. Oh no, your mind is blown, but watch this. It's a fraction divided by a fraction. So all you've got to do is change to multiplication and flip the second fraction. That's it. That's it. It's just written differently. Instead of saying 1 divided by 2, I said 1 divided by 2. Okay? What? It's just written in fraction form. Bob, it's one. So it would be... Pay attention. Times... Because this brings something back real quick. Shh. Okay, let's just ignore the restrictions for a second. Let's just look at our canceling. I have one or more at the top, right? Or minus 5s and 5s minus or. They're the same thing except since it's subtraction, i got to have a negative. So when I cancel them, I'm just going to stick a negative there. So the answer would be y Remember? Okay, your homework assignments on the board. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've left for one of them. Wait, you do? Yeah, one of them was 80 bucks.